No phones till tomorrow. Network wiring at the end of the week. Support staff? Just me. Beckett, a word. Is Ed still in hospital? Yes, he is. I was hoping to find Miss Henderson here. Ros doesn't want us to give up our independence. Tell us she's wrong. I want your independence with the backup of my organisation. It's not penal servitude, for God's sake. It's a real opportunity for all of us. Right, so we get our hands on all the stuff in the magic toy shop. I mean, what do you get out of this? A way to deal with the unorthodox enemies, including the ones on the inside. What does that mean? Think about it. If our own people take it upon themselves to operate outside the law, who am I going to send after them? Well, I've tried every argument I can think of, Jan, but she just doesn't want to come on board. Get her to come in and talk to me. If she'll do that, I'll give her all the guarantees she needs. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and Beckett, unless we're in an office with the door closed, don't call me Jan. No, Director. Ed, the illustrated man. Hmm. Just check his signature, Oz. Make sure he spelled it right this time. <laughs> I notice I get my turn after every woman in the hospital's had a go. Oh, you just enjoy your moment of glory, Becca. They're cutting me out of this thing in the morning. Yeah, well, I hope you're going to keep the plaster, Ed. I mean, Ros, have you seen this? They've all put their phone numbers down here. I know. Keep it. I've made them promise to take me down to the furnace room so I can watch them burn it. Your doctor said she thought you might be a little bit depressed. I've got more pins and plates in me than Robbie the Robot. I feel like I've been cut up and put back together like Frankenstein's monster. I'll be in physio till kingdom come. Why on earth would I have any reason to be depressed? I'm so sorry, Ed. Don't be sorry, Roz. It's not your fault. You just track down that Kitty McCaig and you give her what she deserves. We're trying everything we can think of, Ed. It's just... But we will find her. And you, you remember that you're lucky to be alive. <gasps> yes, miss. Right, well, uh, time to go. Yeah. <clears throat> See you tomorrow. Ah, get off. You're making my head wet. <laughs> yeah, you're just taking advantage of me. Yeah, we well, don't think you're going to get one of those off of me. <laughs> Beckett. Did you manage to talk around yet? I'm working on it. The joke is, I thought you'd be the one that was going to give me problems. I'll be honest with you. I've lost my taste for doing this sort of thing without a safety net. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk to her now. I just hate to see him like that, didn't you? Ross? <laughs> oh, Ross. Don't cry. <laughs> He's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Don't you worry about Kitty McHague. She can run. But she can't hide forever. Where's my money? 
Well, I arranged for the payment for your last two sales to be in high-value bearer bonds. It's the only practical way, Kitty. It would be impossible to move that amount of cash around. Oh, I don't want anything traceable. Those are completely anonymous. But I don't see why that's such a factor. You know I have to drop out of sight. You already have, Kitty. I'm the only one who knows you're here. I mean permanently. Deep undercover, out there with Elvis. Where's this Duchess you've been researching for me? Duchess of Fortezza. British mother, Italian father. She just inherited an estate near Windsor she'd never even seen. Perfect. What's she doing now? Well, the Duke died three months ago. She sold the winery. Now she's coming over here to do the same with her mother's ancestral home. Family ties? None. She's all alone. With a title and 2,000 acres. You promised me an explanation. I did, didn't I? What have you done? What does it look like I've done, Zack? I'm burning our bridges. Get rid of the body. I don't do bodies, Kitty. Oh, you do now, Zack. This is survival. Unless you're telling me you want to get off the bus. I'll... I'll see to it. Shut the door. What's wrong? I'm not certain Zack's entirely on board. What do you want to do? I like to think someone's returning the trust I place in them. Stick a bug on him. Hello, Channing. Before we do anything else, Roz, this is for you. Don't look so suspicious. It isn't going to explode. Celebration present. The Korean licenses. Roz, you're fantastic. I want to bear your children. <laughs> Hold your hand out, Channing. You don't want it. Ross, look at it. You can't imagine the strings I had to pull. Not as a present, no. Call it a company car, then. Channing, that's not a car. That's a piece of road jewellery. I wouldn't dare leave it in the street. Spurned by Ross Henderson. Some boys can only dream. Now call me some bad names. Oh, shut up. Don't do something you'll regret. This is a classic. It's irreplaceable. Drive it for a week, then decide. Get inside. God's sake, look after it. <laughs> We're online to your bank now. Shall I access your account? No. Open me a new account in the name of the Duchess of Fortezza. Then transfer all the money out of my old account and close it. Why? Just do it, Zach. They're saying you need to choose a new passcode. Seven letters on a number. Move over. Nothing too obvious. Nothing personal. Why the Duchess? Oh, you know these offshore bankers. One whiff of nobility and they roll right over. Finish it off for me.
This is everything I could find on Kitty McHake's business dealings in the public domain. And this I found by more devious means. Now that's the one I want to see. <laughs> She's richer than I am, and that's going some. Really? I didn't think anyone was richer than you. Where's your friend Beckett? I thought he was going to be here. Mm, he's supposed to be on his way. I knew she was successful, but I didn't think... Look at this. A lot of the things she made had commercial applications. These are defence contracts. She built weapons as works of art, and then she licensed out the designs. Just like the battle wagon. The commercial version clears minefields. That one invention's netted her five million over the last two years, and there are dozens like it. You're right, she is one seriously rich woman. Which I imagine will make her very difficult to find. Any idea where she banks? No, I haven't been able to find that out, sorry. We're getting nowhere looking for her, but if we knew where she banked, we could follow the money. What do you say we forget this afternoon and start again? I think we should. Why didn't you put it in touch? Well, you know, it's awkward. You were always Johnny's girl. Nick, I'm 33 years old and never in my life have I been anybody's girl. I don't want to talk about... You work for Kitty. I'm not here to do you any harm. I'm getting out. I draw the line at murder. Oh, yeah. This from a man who was happy to blow up a chemical dump right under the middle of town. We planned it as a disaster for the history books where nobody died. Kitty! But Kitty's gone completely out of control. Look, don't have much time. Ah! It's the lady. I don't know what's all playing out there. There are plenty of people around here, doctors and nurses. You... Where's the what bug? It's in the bubble on his ponytail. Sorry about what happened to you. Well, thank you very much. It makes me feel a whole lot better. Just get around here where I can see you. Well, I know who that is, and I know where he is. I'm giving you the passcode to Kitty McCaig's escape fund. I changed it without her knowing, which means she can't get to her own money without it. Get the car. Wait a minute. You're as good as turning me into bait. Yeah, if you like. You've got the code without the username. She's got the username without the code. And what's the point of that? Think of it like a race. If she gets the code, she'll grab the money and go. If you get the name, you can freeze the account and she's dead in the water. Give us both now. Oh, no. Having you all fighting it out amongst yourselves gives me the chance to disappear. Ed? I'm all done here. I just came to tell you the latest x-rays look good. We can take that cast off tomorrow, as planned. Uh, Yasmin, hang on a second. I, uh, I think there's something I should tell you. You must be mad. My back was itching. I can't believe you dropped a scalpel down inside the cast. Well, I didn't intend to. I, you know, I was only trying to scratch. With a surgical blade? Oh, Yasmin, I know it sounds crazy, but the surgical blade was all I could find. That thing's coming off right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
healing isn't over yet. It's going to take a lot of patience and physio. Where's the scalpel? Ah. Uh, you know, I, I, I could have been wrong about that. Ed. Oh, come on, Yasmin. This is a lot more important. Give me that back piece. Oh, wonderful. He used a woman's name when he changed the passcode. They're all women's names. Exactly. I, I can't tell which one it is. Sit still. All right, I'm just... I'm trying to remember these. Mary. Mary. And Pamela times two. Mary, Pamela times two. Miranda. Mary, Pamela times two. Tell them that somewhere on there is half the key to Kitty McHaig's bank account. Kitty McHaig is the woman who put me here. But Ed... Trust me, this is an emergency. Him, Kitty. Come upstairs, third floor. She's here. Out the back way. Go. <laughs> you gotta catch me first. Not quite ready for the big wide world, eh? We were in here. Pickett, where were you earlier? You were supposed to be coming over to my place. I got held up, Ross. Let's just concentrate on finding out, okay? When I got back with security, there was nobody here. You know, I think Kitty McHaig has kidnapped Ed to prize a passcode out of him. We don't know which name the passcode is. We don't know which bank the passcode's for. What kind of money are we talking about here, Ross? Oh, more than enough to set herself up in a new life anywhere that she wants. How? Spin-off defence contracts. Look, Beckett, suppose we were to cut her off from her cash. I think we'd be dealing with one seriously desperate woman. Desperate people do make mistakes. He's down there. This is where the new bureau is going to be. We don't know what it's going to be called yet. Are you joining us? I do hope I'm interrupting. Miss Henderson. Ed's missing and you're here? That's what we're talking about. Please. I know you think I've used unfair pressure on Beckett to get him in here. It's perfectly true. I suppose I have. A department like yours is bound to have something on everybody. Helped by the fact that one of his old girlfriends took him for a ride. And now there are people chasing him all over town for every penny he's got. Is this true? That's nobody's business but mine. 
Beckett, why didn't you tell me? You know my situation. I could have helped. I don't want to discuss this. You had absolutely no right to bring that up. This is all part of the deal, Roz. We're being offered access to the code red file on Kitty McHague's defence work, including a track on where the money was paid to. An example of what cooperation can do. The bank, Roz. We'll find out which bank she uses, which means we can find her. All payments for the defence contracts went to the same place, Kitty McHague's personal account, but she uses a bank with offshore status, no tax and total privacy. See if it will give us anything useful. I'm already knocking at the door, but we can't get into Kitty's account without the passcode. So which one is it? Try more. No, you can't do that. These programs recognize a fishing expedition. One wrong, try too many, and they shut you out for good. Miranda, 2001. Uh, the first word has seven spaces. Miranda's the only seven-letter word on there. And who might this be? Well, I'm his personal assistant. She's the file clerk. OK, name of account holder, Mac Haig. It's locked up. I can't log off. I'll have to reboot to break the link. Right passcode, wrong name. She's opened the new account under a different name. She's creating a new identity. It's got to be. Same bank, same money, new name and new number. Well, we've got the number, but to give ourselves any chance of finding her, we need the name. How are we going to get hold of that? Bust into the bank? Pamela number one, registrar. Pamela number two, oh, Pamela number two. She, she brought the meals around. Ah, oh, Kitty. Gosh, I thought this might have been the breakfast run. What do you think this is, a hotel? I don't know what it is. Where am I? Hospitals made you soft. There's almost nothing in the kitchen, I'm afraid. Dear old Zack has managed to cut off my line of credit. I want that passcode, Ed. What makes you think I know it? I'm sure you've worked it out. I think you're stalling so your friends can find you first. But don't bother. There's nothing that can lead them here. And what happens if I just keep holding out? I don't want to say. I thought we were friends. I know you did. No point in an appeal to the heart, then. No. Hard as stone and twice as cold. I want my money and I want it today. I'll get that passcode, even if Ben has to beat it out of you. And then what? You'll disappear? Somehow I don't think so. Disappearing's easy. The owner of this house, the Duchess of Fortezza, is passing through. Only somewhere on the journey, the lady vanishes. You pop up in a place and carry on living her life. Nothing gets past that lightning brain of yours, does it? And what if an old friend of the Duchess should happen to drop by? By then, they'll find she's sold up and moved on to Venezuela. <laughs> uh, and what if I don't give you what you want? Nothing but grief ensues. Think about it. But don't be thinking about it for too long. I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? If I tell you or not. I won't be leaving here alive, will I? I don't know the passcode, Kitty! What did Roz say? Is she coming around? She's over the moon. Oh. I just need this signed. What is it? It gives me the power to requisition stuff. I don't want to be coming to you every time I need a box of paper clips, now do I? Press down hard. 
I intend to take a very close personal interest in the new bureau. That's lovely. I just need these. Thank you. Beckett! Did she fall for it? What do you mean? I'm supposed to be the boss. I can order what I like. Channing give you this then? It's on a week's approval. How long does Channing get? So exactly how far offshore is this offshore bank? Century Plaza. They're registered abroad, but they've got a front office here. Call that offshore banking. What a scam. <laughs> Nicholas Beckett here, Courier Services. Yeah, I've got a letter for hand delivery to your managing director. I'm sending a girl over with it now. Uh, can you make sure she gets in? the bank. Small, but very exclusive. Hey, look, it's Uncle Joe of the Mint Balls tin. Don't stare. This is never going to work. We'll keep it simple. Normally, one of us would be doing this, but we're going to be operating the equipment. Now, your part is very simple, and there's absolutely no danger involved. You go in there, you get a signature for the letter, and while you're in there, you trigger this. What does it do? It gives out a very brief magnetic pulse, like an invisible flashbulb. See, what we're trying to do is a bit like taking a three-dimensional X-ray of the bank, only we're using magnetic resonance, a bit like a scanner. <laughs> hey, look, stop if I'm getting too technical for you. You'll be able to hear us through this. Alex, you do understand what we're trying to achieve, don't you? Mm, it's like a seismic survey, only it's done with three MRI scanners and a pulse generator. Each image gives you a slice of the building. You crunch the images through a trig program to give you a three-dimensional picture of what's inside. From that, we work out where the information's kept and where the weak points are. <coughs> yeah, well, that's, uh, that just about covers it, yeah. So you think you'll be able to handle it then, do you? Maybe. This is an answering service. The person you require is unavailable. Please leave your message after the tone. Is the phone connected? Only to this. Does this sound like me? This is an answering service. The person you require is unavailable. Please leave your message after the tone. What's it for? It's a trap for a desperate man. I'm sure he knows that code and he'll want to pass it on. Where is he now? He found the door and got out. Well, took him long enough. Are we otherwise secure? Can't leave the building. Good. Let's crack out the hunting gear. Alex is inside the bank now. She can trigger the pulses as soon as we're ready to receive. Where are you, Roz? <coughs> Between the ketchup and the cooking oil. What about you? I'm on the grassy knoll. Have you got me online? Good, clear and ready to receive. 
Alex, stand by. Pulse emissions in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Is there a seat? Will that six, be all? Five, yes, thank you. Four, oh, three, sorry. That's my fault. One, zero. Something set off my watch. Thank you for all your help. No problem. Mr. Robinson will see you out. This way, miss. Did you get it? It's processing now. Yep, we got it. Oh, no. What's wrong? Beckett, we're going to have to rethink our entire approach. They've got electronic protection like I've never seen. And I've seen some. No way are we ever going to be able to break into there. We'll just have to come up with some other plan. What other plan? This is the only lead we've got. Beckett, I have got seven levels of security here. Seven and still counting. I'd need a month to crack this place, if ever. Excuse me, may I just use the powder room? Of course, miss. I'll be calling you a taxi. Saying is I know what you're saying. So, where's your personal assistant? The car I expected. What do I have to do to get some attention around here? My name's Ros Henderson. You've probably heard, heard of me. I made a fortune in the electronics business. And I'm looking for a place to stow the dosh. Well, is this a private bank or a mime school? Alex, what do you think you're doing? Get out of there now! Get this stuff down to the car. I sense the need for a quick getaway. I'm Gilbert Galler. It's a delight to meet you, Miss Henderson. For someone who's so successful, you've managed to keep well out of the public eye. I like my privacy. That's why I'm here. Well, to be honest, once you reach a certain level of personal wealth, it makes no sense to go anywhere else. Our gold reserves are kept overseas, but these days money in its purest form is data, and we only deal with money in its purest form. What's the weak link? There isn't one. Come on, Gilbert. Every system gets exposed at some point. Don't tell me none of these bright young things ever got tempted to pull the handle on the money pump. Alex, I'm giving you a direct order. You are sailing so close to the wind. Now get out of there before they rumble you. I'll be honest with you. If we do have a weak link, it isn't with the bank. It's the client. Go on. It is. We've designed our system with great care. Half the staff have access to the clients' identities, but not their passcodes. The other half know the passcodes, but not the clients' identities. Only the client and myself have access to both. You can personally match a client's name to their passcode? Myself and no one else but the client. But you wouldn't believe how careless they can be. We tell them the only true security is in a random choice of word. And what do they do? Oh, they use the names of their children and pets? Exactly. Alex, I know you can hear me. I've got a chihuahua myself. He's called Beckett. He never stops yapping. All right, Gilbert, you've sold me the goods. Short of a sock under the mattress, I reckon this is about as good as it gets. Let's do it, right here. I beg your pardon? I'm offering you a bite at the future Henderson Millions. That's if you can get your act together before I start thinking you're not serious. Very well. Let's go to my office. No, I want to do it now, before the urge goes off me. Your office is where we'll crack open the champagne. She's like a wild animal. I'll have to get rid of her. Listen. Now, we need your own choice of passcode. What's the chance of me choosing a passcode that's already in use? 
infinitesimal. Don't even worry about it. It's locked up. I can't get off this screen. I don't understand it. You clever little beast. Can you tell me what passcode you chose? Miranda, 2001. My two favourite movies. Well, this is embarrassing. Why? You actually chose the same passcode as an existing client. Never happens, eh? Would you excuse me for a moment? I can't log off without entering the name. Could I ask you to, um... Um, perhaps you can try again? I don't think so. She's the Duchess of Botezza. Before we chase him down. Ah. Remember this? Of course, I didn't expect to be around long enough to take up country pursuits. Still, a gun, a beater, one helpless creature flapping around. Isn't that what it's all about? Have you got your gun? Signboard? Right, get going. The plane lands in 20 minutes. Once the Duchess is out of the way, there's only the passcode to hold us back. Ross, it's me, Ed. Listen, Kitty's got me prisoner somewhere in the original House of Horror, but you can stop her for good. Now, I've got both halves of the passcode. The account is in the name of Fortezza, as in Duchess of. Now, from memory, the code... Oh, my God. 
Gentlemen, it's clean. Take it. There's no need to be alarmed. Please just uh, go on about your business. Thank you. So, the lady doesn't vanish after all. <laughs> now, how do we get to this estate of yours? Well, what's what's it? It? I know you're in there, Red. You know this. You actually show up on a metal detector. You must have more steel pins in you than the Empire State Building. By the way, Ed, these are my own exploding shells. It's an invoice. For what? Am I buying up the boss's child? Miss Henderson wanted a few things for her office. the car. This car? What's your equalizer, huh? Tight. It's 
long way to fall. There he is, Beckett. There's your boy. What are you going to do? Hold on. I'm not letting go. Where'd she go? I believe that's my car. I'll just take out one of the tires. She won't get very far. Uh, Ross. No, I was just going to tell you. Those were Kitty's own exploding shells. It's nice. So we can still do what we do, only now we do it bigger. No clocks to punch? Absolutely not. Excuse me? My pleasure. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> What about Roz? Hello? OK, I'll hold. I better know who she's talking to. Mm -hmm. Channing! It's about the car. Yes. 